I've got three quick tips for you to make your paint job go smoother, faster, and with much less frustration. It involves some cling wrap, some kitchen trash bags, and some good old fashioned common sense. So let's get to it. Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with Practical Painting. We are professional painters here to help you with your various painting endeavors. And in today's video, I've got three easy tips that don't really require any skill, but will just make your job sites go smoother and with less friction. So let's start with the kind of common sense logistical one in tip number one. Uh, so for this one, uh, right around me you'll see, and I'll have a shot of this that I'll pan to right now, uh, is your supply kind of zone. Uh, all of, If you're going to do a paint job and you're painting a bedroom or whatever room you're painting, you're going to have some supplies that you need to accomplish that task. Uh, one of the things that I recommend all the time is that you make sure that you have a supply area that is not in the room you are painting. Obviously, if you're really restricted with space, you might that might be unavoidable, but I would highly recommend if you have another area where you can set up all your supplies. So your, your paint, your pour station, your pans, your edging container, all that stuff. If you keep it in a separate room, it makes your life so much easier because you're not tripping over your uh, you know it, your equipment you're not you know having to deal with like pans that you're not using and it helps with uh, the job site just going much smoother and uh, it's something that we do on every job that we do like right now I'm down in a client's basement and this is just some of our supplies that I have set up uh, down here and what it does is kind of gives you a home base and a, and a place for all your supplies to go back to so as you're painting in the room you know say you're done edging well then you can take your stuff back to your uh, kind of supply area and just make sure that your workspace is not getting cluttered. Uh, the less cluttered your, uh, you know, whatever room it is that you're painting, uh, the quicker your job's gonna go and the less problems you're gonna have, again, tripping over things, having spills, uh, and different things like that. So that is tip number one. Tip number two is to wrap your brushes in cling wrap when you're done using them. Uh, this is a super good strategy that we've been doing for a number of years now, and uh, it just helps with quite a few things, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but if you have a bunch of brushes going on your job site, and you either want to save them for the next day, or you want to uh, you know, make sure that they stay wet until you're ready to wash them out. A lot of times on our job sites, we don't have a rec sink on site to uh, wash out our brushes, so a lot of times we will wrap them in cling wrap and take them home with us and then wash them out at home. And it's a really easy process. All you have to do, grab a little piece of your cling wrap here, And just, I usually lay it down on a drop cloth, and then I usually kind of dip the brush again in my, my edging container here, but then here's your, your, your nice wet brush here. Just lay it down on the cling wrap, and then fold over the sides, and then fold the top down, and then cling wrap clings to itself. That's why it's super awesome and cling wrappy. Uh, so yeah, that brush will stay wet like this for a pretty long time. <laughs> We've my brother and I and our guy that we work with uh, are known to kind of stack up a lot of these throughout the week. So sometimes by the end of the week, I've got like 10 brushes to wash out. I wouldn't recommend waiting that long, but these do last a long time. It makes it really convenient to um, wash out at your own convenience. And also if you uh, wrap these up well enough, you can use them in the same exact paint the next day or even a couple days after. And if we're gonna do that, then what we do a lot of times too is throw a little piece of tape on the handle label it with a Sharpie to just let ourselves know uh, what paint we used on that brush so that we don't mix it up in the future. So that is tip number two. And my third and final tip, it's actually gonna be like a two for one scenario but involves the same thing. And that is using kitchen trash bags to uh, help keep your roller pan set up wet and then also how to clean up a roller pan set up using a trash bag. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. All right, so you've got your, it's just your standard kind of jumbo tray uh, with a nine inch roller. Uh, we just did a laundry room with this. So this is still wet and uh, say I was gonna wanna use this again tomorrow, uh, then what I would do is, or even later in the day, cause you don't really wanna leave these exposed to um, oxygen for too long or like the air, cause then the pan will dry out, the roller will dry out and that's not a good thing. So if you know you're gonna be using it a little bit later that day or maybe the next day, if you just take a kitchen trash bag like this one, I'm gonna open it up here. And then I'm just gonna take the, I'm gonna take this uh, 
uh, whole pan set up and just shove it in the bag. Boom. So that's what it looks like kind of on the ground. And then a lot of times I'll use these pull tabs and just tie it loosely around the handle of the, uh, the roller pan. So you can see like kind of what that looks like there. Boom. So now you've got your pan uh, completely covered. Even if you had paint in the pan, it'll stay nice and wet. Uh, Cause again, you're stopping the air from hitting uh, any of the wet paint. So this will be good for a couple days. It will dry out eventually, but this will buy you some time uh, before you are actually ready to uh, break this whole thing down and then chuck it. So, and on that note, uh, this is my kind of, I've, I feel like I'm probably not the first one to do this, but this is how I break down pans. Uh, particularly when they, when they are in this, this form factor here. And, and just to be aware, like I've got, uh, this is a jumbo tray with a tray liner in it. Uh, so it's not just the metal pan. And then I've got, again, a nine inch roller on a nine inch roller frame. So the way I break these down, so I've got my, my trash bag here. What I do is I actually, I grab, I grab the insert through the bag and then just pull the whole thing off. So now I've pulled the pan out. And now I'm just left with the uh, roller pan insert and the roller cover. So I'm gonna grab the roller cover through the trash bag and then just yank it off the roller. So now the roller frame's empty. And I've got my, right now I'm still holding the roller cover. And what I can do is just, boom. Tie this off, roller cover and wet pan is in there and a nice tidy package ready for the trash can. So that's my third tip in using trash bags to help keep your roller pans wet until you're ready to throw them out and then how to dispose of them with the trash bag to make your life a heck of a lot easier. That's gonna do it for me. If you guys found this video useful in any way, shape, or form, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Amazing.